everybody, I'm Anna and welcome to my beauty channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my overnight um, oil mix only using two oils, those are rosehip oil and tamanu oil. I am going to mix it for you, then show you how I apply it every night and then talk a little bit about the effects. So let's get to it. For this recipe I am going to use two ingredients. The first one is rosehip oil and this one right here you can tell I've had it for a while, the bottle is kind of empty and the label is basically gone. Uh, but I got this one from Syra Sunrise Botanics, uh, which is a really nice site to get large quantities of skincare oil and skincare ingredients in general. The second one is Taman oil, and this one I got it from Divine Essence. Again, another brand that I've used quite a lot. And the last thing that you will need is this kind of a recipient, an empty recipient with this type of a pump to basically mix your oils in and then use it to apply on your skin. Let's get to mixing the oils. The first thing that I'm going to do is transfer the rosehip oil into the empty recipient by using the pump of the recipient itself. And the ratio that I'm going with is 4 to 1, so for every 4 pumps of rosehip oil I'm adding 1 pump of tamanu oil. I am trying to fill the bottle, so I am adding as many pumps of rosehip oil as I feel necessary to have the bottle almost filled, but leaving a little bit of space for the tamanu oil too. But since I don't have that much left, I am only going with 8 pumps this time. So since I have 8 pumps of rosehip oil, I am going to add then 2 pumps of tamanu oil. At the very end, I'm going to mix them well together by shaking the bottle. Now, these two oils mix together really well, so the newly obtained oil mix will not layer or separate by itself later. It will stay mixed like this. Um, and there you have it. My overnight oil mix. The oil mix has a um, very light yellow color to it and it does smell like fresh green walnut. Uh, both the color and the smell come mostly from the tamanu oil. The rosehip oil has a very very light yellow kind of golden color to it um, and it doesn't have a particularly strong smell. It just smells like, like oil. Um, but yes, the tamanu oil does have a pretty potent scent that if that might bother you, then beware, this might not be the best idea for you to try. As for the texture of it, this type of oil is very light when applied to the skin. It does leave a velvety feeling, like a velvety layer all over your skin after you apply it, but it does absorb fairly easily. Um, so it's actually very nice and easy to wear even during the daytime, although I prefer it for the night. Now for the application, what I like to do is just take literally three drops of it maybe to my fingertips, no more than that. I will rub it between my fingertips and then just apply it all over my face. You don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a really long way. And you don't need to apply so much that you will feel your skin 
being oily after that. You need to be able to rub most of it into your skin right away. And I will just massage it all over my face until I feel like it is mostly absorbed. This was it for the mixture and the um, application of the oil. Personally, I like to use this as my last step in my night skincare routine. So this is after you've already cleansed, used um, maybe a toner or a moisturizing cream. What it does help with is it helps like further most moisturize and hydrate and keep your skin hydrated overnight. Um, you could even use it during the daytime, but beware that it does not let the makeup layer well over it. So if you are using it before makeup, you might have issues with makeup application afterwards, uh, which is why I actually prefer to use it only at, during the night. Now, when looking up on the internet information about these two oils, um, I did come across different websites that claim that uh, they um, help with acne, with um, tissue scarring. Uh, some of them go as far as saying they help with rosacea or psoriasis, but really there is no medical based evidence uh, to suggest that. What I did observe myself after using this oil mixture for more than three months now already is that it does help my skin stay hydrated overnight. I never wake up in the morning with a dry skin, which is a problem that I used to have living in Montreal, especially during the winter with a very cold and humid uh, temperature. My skin did used to get very dry, uh, which doesn't happen now anymore. Um, I did notice that it helps heal acne somewhat faster and that it helps uh, the, the marks go away a little bit quicker than before. And by a little bit quicker, I mean maybe it will only take two days, whereas before it was taking up to a week for like, superficial marks to disappear. If you tried this oil mix at home, leave it in the comments below and tell me if you do anything different and how does this work for you? I'm really curious to hear about it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!